Sup, y'all? Bring you guys another video. So, I'm sure you guys heard about it already, and I think I mentioned it in one of the videos that I posted up recently. Um, but to those who don't know, so you guys can tell by the title, the WBA has decided to strip Manny Pacquiao off the belt and to name him champion in recess. Uh, yeah. So, before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. Please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, a bunch of news articles wrote about it. The ESPN also wrote about it. Uh, so, like I said, Pacquiao is now champion in recess. And they've elevated Jordanis Ugas, who was the regular champion, to full champion, to super champion. If you guys don't know, the WBA has this weird thing called... Uh, they have two belts. They have a super. Well, actually, they have like three belts. Well, actually, four. Um, <laughs> uh, the WBA, which is the this belt right here, um, World Boxing Association. They have like a gold belt. They have a interim belt. They have a uh, regular belt, and they have the super belt. Pacquiao was the super champion. He had the super belt, and the WBA decided to strip him off the belt because he's been inactive. He hasn't fought in a while, and all that. Whatever reason they had. Uh, they decided to, to strip Manny Pacquiao off the belt and elevate Jordanis Ugas, who was the regular champion, to be the super champion. Jordanis Ugas is a 34-year-old fighter from Cuba, 26-4, and 4, 12 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Spectacular boxer, in my opinion. Could have been a world champion by now if he defeated uh, Sean Porter, which arguably he did. I think I remember having him winning that fight against Sean Porter back in um, 2019. He lost that fight by split decision, pure BS, but it is what it is. And now here he is, world champion. I mean, I know it's an email belt, but at the end of the day, he's, still, he's now a world champion. Which means he will most likely fight Errol Spence. Errol Spence is the IBF and WBC fight, uh, champion at 147 pounds. Uh, he's looking for all the belts, and it seems like this is the fight... That we'll be seeing next Ugas versus Spence and U if you follow Ugas on social media he did call out Spence saying that they should fight for title unification and uh, honestly I don't mind this fight I think it's a very good fight very highly skilled fight between two very highly skilled boxers Spence and Ugas I think it would make for a very interesting fight but I think we can all agree that the fight we want to see is Errol Spence versus Terence Crawford but I guess uh, this will have this will do while we wait for that fight, I guess. I don't know, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I just hope that this potential fight between Ugas and Spence is not pay per view because I don't want it to be pay per view. I don't think it's worth seventy dollars to see Spence and Ugas box each other. To be honest, uh, in my opinion, um, especially after watching the Spence Danny Garcia fight, yeah, I don't think that was worth seventy dollars to be all, to be completely honest. But anyway, if you look at the rankings, uh, obviously it needs to be updated. Um, Ugas is now the super champion, and Pacquiao is a champion in recess. What does that mean? I have, no, I have no idea what that means. But I guess if he wants to fight for the world title, uh, the WBA can order it in the near future. Because right now, as we speak, Pacquiao is currently in talks of fighting Ryan Garcia. And uh, looks like that's what's next for Manny Pacquiao. But, but yeah, man, uh, I guess Errol Spence versus Ugas it will be next for three belts in the line, WBC, WBA, and IBF. And that's a very winnable fight for Ugas, in my opinion. At least I think so. I think Ugas definitely has the skill set, the, the Cuban boxing style, the Cuban knowledge to pull off uh, a big upset against Errol Spence, in my opinion. I mean, I'd, I'd have to think about it a little bit more, but, you know, I actually... I like Uga's chances in that fight. Um, so yeah, Pacquiao will do his own thing. I mean, at the end of the day, Pacquiao is bigger than the belt anyway, right? I mean, he's he's fucking Manny Pacquiao. He's, he's a legend of sport. He's a GOAT. He's one of the greatest of all times. He doesn't need a belt to define him. He he doesn't need a belt. So I guess it's in, in a way, it's a good thing so that he doesn't have to pay a sanctioning fee when he fights um, uh, Ryan Garcia. You know what I mean? Because usually when you defend your title, you have to give them a percentage of your purse. So I guess it saves him more money. Gives him more money come fight night after he fights Ryan Garcia. 
So, so yeah, um, it is what it is. WBA is getting a lot of hate lately because he's, they also stripped off uh, uh, Shuminov. They also stripped off uh, Manuel Char. And yeah, it's it's ridiculous what the WBA, man. They're, they're just ridiculous. They're ridiculous to begin with and they just got more ridiculous. <laughs> So let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please and like always have a great day. Alright, thanks.